Many recreational players are fearful of the lob and this leads to all sorts of tactics whether it's not coming to the net in singles or staying all the way back in doubles just to avoid the dreaded lob. So in today's video I'm going to show you what you should and should not do when you get lobbed and why you need to take an overall more relaxed attitude towards getting lobbed. And let's start off with why you are fearful of the lob in the first place. And just to clarify, I'm not talking about a situation where you are in control of the point and you are pushing your opponent way off the court and they then put up a high ball. Players usually do not have a hard time putting those type of lobs away. But it's more a situation where the lobber is in control and you are at their mercy. So the reason why you are fearful of getting lobbed is that you're perfectly happy at the net looking to put the point away. And now all of a sudden the lob comes and it is really annoying. It disrupts the point. Now number one, you're being put on the spot and you have to put the overhead away. Or even worse, you have to run back and cover the lob. And it's usually the person that's lobbing that's having fun. They will have a smile on their face while they're lobbing you while you on the other hand are scrambling to get back or even worse than double sometimes chaos is created because now your partner has to cover your side you have to switch over to theirs so the number one thing that you can do to stop fearing the lob is to realize that the vast majority of lobs at the recreational level are hit defensively there's a big difference between an offensive lob that's struck with topspin versus a defensive lobs so if you get a lob that's struck flat there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't win the point of a lob like that. So you can therefore relax and simply accept that the lobs are part of the game and you have a great chance to win the point if you get lobbed. And the first thing you should do when you get lobbed is not commit to the lob too early. So when the ball is flying high, you have to realize that a defensive lob will slow down dramatically so the longer you wait the more you move your feet and back up gravity will pull this ball down and you actually have very often a chance to hit an overhead so then do not commit to getting lobbed too early in other words you see a high ball and now you're like oh i got lobbed and now your feet are stuck simply track the ball and keep backing up and many times you will actually be able to hit an overhead And if there's no chance to hit an overhead, here's what you need to do. You need to leave the ball to your side. So if you get a lob coming over your forehand side, you need to run next to the ball. So if the ball is flying, you have to leave the ball on your side so that when it bounces, you have enough space to actually hit a forehand. And if you get lobbed over your backhand side, you're going to leave the ball to your left. So you're going to run back while the ball is with plenty of space away from you so that when it bounces, you can hit a backhand. Do not lose sight of the ball. If you lose the ball, even for a split second, you will be completely disoriented and you will not know where the ball is. So it's absolutely crucial that as you're getting lobbed, you keep your eyes on the ball's flight path the entire time so that you can position yourself accordingly. The number one mistake at the recreational level is when players run back right underneath the ball. And once that ball bounces, it's going to be right in front of you like this. Now the only option you have is to do this type of shovel shot right above your head and this will rarely result in a winning point. At the professional level, players will get lobbed and they will sometimes come off with spectacular shots such as the behind the back shot or even better, the between the leg shot. And now while these shots are spectacular, I want you to realize that they very rarely result in a winning point even at the professional level. At the recreational level, I advise that you try to hit a forehand or a backhand if you get lobbed. Do not attempt the behind the back or the legger because not only is the degree of difficulty super high and you're most likely not going to be able to pull off a shot like that but let's say even if you do get one in the chances of actually winning the point are still slim to none. 